the IDC board has approved a refocused strategy which seeks to place the corporation at the center of industrialization. We expect to be a catalyst of industrial development in the country. As management puts it, we expect to do even more with the resources at our disposal. We believe that the IDC has succeeded in this current year that we are reporting on in sustainably leveraging the balance sheet for the development outcomes that are centered on industrial capacity development. The funding approvals of 11 and a half billion rands and disbursements of 10.9 billion rands in a very challenging economic environment, I believe bear testimony to this. The IDC has helped to create a mature, renewable energy funding market. When it entered this space, there was a lot of skepticism about the state's capacity to be able to create this industry. And the IDC invested heavily, in fact its exposure is quite significant, uh, just over 14 billion rand exposure to that sector. And it's a good moment now to diversify a little bit. Uh, the banks, the other institutions are quite keen to get into the space and I think it's appropriate that the IDC uh, gives uh, that support to them. Now what it must do is obviously find new sources of growth and it's, uh, we're certainly not signaling that there is no appetite for renewable energy, there still is an appetite for that, uh, but it must find additional areas to boost its growth. I've identified three. The first of that is much more uh, active efforts to claim a greater part of the African growth story for South Africa. So that is the export of uh, manufactured goods and uh, certainly some services to fast growing uh, neighboring countries, uh, African, uh, other African countries. When I look at the trade numbers, it's clear we're doing uh, over the, the last four years or so, and we've done very well, a much uh, stronger performance of South African exporters uh, in uh, African markets. But it's also clear that there's more space for that, that there is, in fact, still a significant part of Africa's uh, industrial and consumption needs that are supplied from other continents. And that provides the market opportunity for South African companies. And the IDC, I think, can be uh, ready now to support South African companies to scale up to take those opportunities. The second part of it is um, uh, stronger growth in the domestic market. Uh, when you have these global headwinds and the global uh, economy is performing uh, much weaker than, than uh, uh, the immediate bounce back after 2009, then we must see more sources of growth yeah, in South Africa. And that means uh, import replacement, finding ways of strengthening the competitiveness, the product offering of local companies to be able to grab more market share. And the third is that of infrastructure. We, as I've indicated, we're investing about one billion rand per working day in infrastructure development. And a, a significant part of that dividend has to come through deeper industrialization. Not all of infrastructure is bricks and mortar. Uh, a significant part of our infrastructure spend is equipment, rolling stock, and so on. If you build a Medupi or a Kusile or you do your train modernization program, yes, you do invest in, uh, in bricks and mortar, but, but perhaps the, the significant spend in those projects lie in equipment. When I look at the overall story, yes, renewable energy has been a, a sharp decline in IDC um, financing, but in the non-renewable um, uh, portfolio, in fact, a very significant increase in IDC spending. Now, if you look at the long-term localization impact of this shift, renewable energy is very important for, uh, for our energy security. But it's not been the big driver of localization. So where the IDC is now shifting to, we're going to see, uh, we hope, much greater job creation and a deeper localization of the economy. But we're confident that the 100 billion rand 
is achievable. Um, we've always seen, when I put this uh, revised uh, stretch target, target to the IDC, they said to me, to be able to do this, we're going to have to change the way in which we work. And they, they worked with um, their own team and with international experts to develop what is called Project Evolve. It's a diff completely different way in which the IDC will be working. And that has now been introduced in the new financial year. And part of Project Evolve is a much more proactive attempt to build value chains, not just to wait for when companies put propositions to the IDC and to evaluate it, but to identify opportunities in the market, go out there, find out who are the global technology partners, who are the South African companies that are hungry and have a little bit of edge uh, and something that they can bring to the equation, hook them up and see its role, therefore, as not simply the provider of finance, but as, if you like, bringing together um, the entrepreneurial energies for which there is a market for industrial funding. From the 1st of April, that's when we implemented the project. It's looking at integration upstream and downstream, and I think everything else the minister has said. In, in the minister's presentation, he referred to the dialogues that we have in these roadshows that we have. That's also one angle of our point, because in those discussions, we are talking to people who have the ability to redirect some of their pitches which was largely being imported to localize it. And, and you can only do that if you are being more proactive, as opposed to waiting for people.